hunting TV star Larissa Switlick is on a dear management mission with Sussex stalker Darren Fizz Fizzakili. She's helping him out as part of an annual management plan, starting with Carl Roebuck and finishing with the fellow buck Carl. The Roebuck season opened in the UK on the 1st of April. They are also keeping an eye out for suitable muntjac while they are out and about. It's going to be a busy one and Larissa is hoping to tick a few deer off her list. It's pretty cool because uh, honestly I have my eyes on a muntjac. I don't know why, they're just so cool looking. I heard they're delicious, want to try it out. And they're actually kind of a pest here, like rodents I hear. They're everywhere, but I heard they're difficult to hunt because they're always on the move and they're really small. So I just love learning new styles of hunting. And, you know, it's uh, a little different. It's my first time hunting in the UK, so I'm excited to get after it. The cover here is ideal for munchak with regen, small and thick trees. This is good holding ground for the deer. The only way to get one in sight is to call and pull them out with the butterlo. We're just in the thick woods, but no more jack on the play, so I think we're gonna go head up to some field. But we got roebuck and also fallow buck in season as well, so we're gonna try to get the slam here. <laughs> See if we can get all three in the next two days. That'd be really cool. But just as we set off, we hear a muntjac bark, so Fizz makes the call for us to go back in. We're going back to plan A. We just heard a muntjac bark. So we're gonna go head back into the woods and try to pursue it, see if we can get on them. We pulled in, because we were literally before, we were only sort of 80 odd meters over there. What we're calling. After just, just bumping it, yeah, like and spooking, spooking it. it, yeah, that was just. I love. This is why I love hunting because it just you just never know what's gonna happen and you think things change. It and well, no, I thought we gave up. I was <laughs> <laughs> no, never gave up, never gave up. That was really cool. Well done. Great. I love it. Okay. This is so neat. What a unique looking animal. It has oh. an incredible coat. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's almost like a very very big rabbit fluffy tail but that's a perfect shot the rest are really well placed well done right I'm proud of that yeah it's a very great. good shot well I saw she was kind of on the move just just yeah she's just, was just kind of on steady. the move so when she stopped for that split, split second, second. I, I took the shot perfect that's a good result there is still time for fallow and row we aren't out to shoot as many deer as possible. There is a reason why all three species can be on the cards today. Yeah, we have a, we have a, a large call on this estate because there's a lot of damage done to arable crops and also a lot of forestry um, damage as well here with uh, particularly the roe and the muntjac do quite a lot, of, a lot of damage on small saplings. Because it is April and the sun is up higher and the weather is warmer, the deer are starting to enjoy grazing in the open patches. We see a roebuck grazing in the sun, but Larissa cannot take the shot as the backstop is not good enough. We break for the afternoon and change estate. We drop off Larissa to rest as she's been hunting non-stop since arriving in England and we head out with Fizz. This is actually the only time of year, um, April, that I would be out at one, two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it's just because the weather's warming up and it's a lovely day, nice and sunny. Um, the deer are out trying to get a bit of sunshine. Um, also through the winter months, what happens is the deer's metabolism actually slows down because there's less food. Now that it's warmed up, you see these crops have really got away. We see a big group of fallow in the open field and stalk up to them, but they wind us and move on. So that's a, a classic example of them just being out, enjoying this weather in the middle of the day, early afternoon. But, um, before the wind swung around, came straight over the back of our heads. One doe's head 
popped up and she just took them, put them into wood. There were a couple of young bucks in there that we could have taken if they'd stood in the right place, but yeah, it wasn't, wasn't safe. So um, that pod has got away for now. As we return to the truck, there is a classic deer stalking moment as the whole day changes course. We turn a corner and Fizz sees a deer head sticking up over the crest of the hill. I just said to you a few minutes before, and it's probably the most likely bit of this wood to find something. A deer love it down in here. And uh, we just managed to see one just with its neck and head um, visible. So I've managed to take a headshot and it's another it's a fallow buck. We pick up the girls on the last stalk of the day and look to complete what Larissa calls the slam, one of each of the local deer in season. It starts off well as we see a roebuck from the window of the car. Yeah, I mean, we're on the, our afternoon hunt, um, evening time, and just about the right time where these deer get up and start moving again and feeding. Actually driving in here, we spotted a roe deer buck, a uh, pretty nice one too, but he kind of was unweary and ran off into the woods. We don't get back onto that roebuck, but continue stalking into another area. Then we see a roebuck just sticking its head over the brow of a dip. Down. That's what I like to see. Absolutely. Straight out. Oh, thank you, God. Good stock, very we good stock. We officially opened our roebuck call for 2017. I have. <laughs> First roebuck of the season That's a good way of doing here. it. Totally, you know, one good. shot, drops on the spot, humane, perfect. Thank well you. Well done. That was beautiful. So that closes up the deer management for the day. Fizz is happy with his roebuck curl, which will continue throughout the rest of the season. You can contact him via viscountsporting.com. Meanwhile, for Larissa, it is, of course, awesome.